Hey Simmers, welcome back or welcome on in if you are new here. It is so good to do speed building again in The Sims. I have missed it dearly since I took a bit of a break, but here we are and we are going to be building a honey bee farm today. This build is located in Windenburg and it is the Cottage MC. I believe it's on the left hand side of the map and I just love this location. It's almost like secluded and it has beautiful like waters by it and lakes. So I thought this was really fitting for a farm. I am in my cottage core era again. I don't think I've ever left it, but I was really itching to build a cottage. So here we are doing a honeybee small farm. I was really obsessed with the color yellow. It just makes me so happy. And I've been like, strangely enough, in my honey phase all over again with my porridge, my toast, cakes, things like that. So it's kind of made me inspired to build this particular build, strangely enough, <laughs> but here we are. And for this build, we primarily use the cottage uh, living pack as well as the cool kitchen and horse ranch. I didn't realize how much horse ranch would be used. I mean, it is cottage core vibes, I suppose you can say, but I loved the mix of all those three packs together. They just work so cohesively. So it is a really small cottage and I've been really obsessed with tiny builds and small builds. So I it, I don't know. I feel like it just is more challenging to me because there is less room, but which also means more ways to clutter and be creative. So I have been really like obsessed with the idea of doing smaller builds and I really want to up my landscaping game a bit more. So you'll see that later on. But of course, I did the layout and we are working on the kitchen. I love working on the kitchens first. I feel like it's a good starting point to shape and build more character to a build. And I don't know, I'm just really obsessed with building kitchens. I love the clutter. I love working out the layout. And I feel like for me personally, kitchens usually like take up most of the space when it comes to a build. So I'll be working on that. The clutter for this space isn't too crazy. It does look kind of lived in, but because it's such a small build, I just made sure that the cluttering is quite minimal, but also a little bit more like cluttered. I know that sounds so strange, but I've added in like plates, mugs. I am obsessed with the cool kitchen, wheat sort of jars, wheat flour. I just think it's perfect for a cottage vibe. And I've also added in those jars that you can put in like teas, coffees, biscuits, whatever you like. And of course some cookbooks too. So I want to make sure that the sim feels like they've obviously been there for a while, but you can also add in whatever you please and whatever you think would work best in this space as well. I've kept the yellow color scheme inside as well as outside. I know you may have noticed the little honey bee on the front of the house for the windows and I thought that was perfect. I wanted to do like a beige checkered wallpapering. I've also been so obsessed with the Home Chef Hustle Pack. This particular wallpapering with the floral tiles is amazing and the color scheme like just the color swatches that have been coming in it has been slaying. So I've gone for the yellow one, of course, and I love the touch of blue. So I made sure to kind of incorporate that throughout the rest of the build as well. I'm loving the blue and yellow combo. I think it's so warm and inviting. Blue is such a cool and calm color and yellow is just so happy and I just feel like it makes it all more cozy. Since the space is really small, I only envision maybe one sim living in here, so I've just kept it really simple for the dining area. A two-seater in case they want to have a guest over and just perch by the window still so they can look out the window and over look at their farm and the water just across there. I really wanted to make this place extra cozy by adding in a fireplace, so I believe I used the snowy escape one. I realized it was a horse ranch one, but it's okay. We're already committed, so I've stuck to it. I kind of like the simplicity of this one a little bit more, so it did work a lot better for the space that it's in. And I've just thrown in the old school TV, the old school radio, and of course the chicken. The little chicken statue is so adorable and fitting for this space, so it was a must. And I thought it was nice since 
、uh, this place is surrounded by so much water that we put the fishing rod just behind it. And I think that worked perfectly for framing and adding a little bit more decoration to the space. Moving on, we are in the bedroom again. I just did a single bed because it is a very small space, and I was playing around with the decorations and what to clutter in this space. And I really want to make sure there was like a big table to put like makeup, jewelry, storage. I just imagine a female beekeeper living here, so I wanted to make it look lived in, and I wanted to make sure that she gets as much space for her clothes. And being able to just, I guess, you know, pop all her beloved items on there. I really want to clutter up the side, but I thought just an alarm clock would be great. And then I'll give you the opportunity for you or to put in whatever you like in there as well. So I left some space on the windowsill there. Finally, I am working on the bathroom. This layout took me a little bit to work out, but we finally got there, and I was so worried I had to extend the space. But nope, we are all Gucci. So I just popped in your basics: shower, toilet,、uh, a little robe, and of course a sink. And I love the fact that the bathroom clutter has so many items I can throw in there. I highly recommend using and purchasing that kit if you haven't yet already. So for the rest of the build, I'll be working out the layout of the farm and the landscaping. So that's what I'll be doing. I've made sure to pop in some like similar trees that's around in the world, and different types of trees just to kind of spruce up the space a little bit, so it's just not so, I guess, boring and same same. And I thought、oh, I was tossing up between just making everything yellow, but I've noticed there was lavender scattered around in the world already. So I just wanted to incorporate the purples back in again. So that's what I've done.、Uh, the flower baskets that you put in front of the window sills—I forgot what they were called, but yeah, that's what I've done. Oh, and I've also came across the flooring from the castle kit. And hello, I'm obsessed. I think I'm going to use this for paving, like. Forever, I love how it comes in different swatches. I love that it's got textures, and I love the type of stone. So I thought it worked perfectly to break up the actual farm space to the front of the house and the pathing. So majority of this portion will be all the landscaping, the shrubbery, planting grass and whatnot. So I will catch you guys in a little bit once I work on the farm section. Since we're supposed to attract more bees, because it is a bee farm, I realized I should be putting in more planters in. So later on, you'll notice I've like popped in a little greenhouse section at the back or a planting section at the back. So feel free to plant more flowers. I've also popped them in the middle between the actual farming space and the backyard. Now we are working on the bee farm. I am so happy that the swatch comes in yellow. I was cheering. I was a little bit worried, <laughs> but um, I, as as much as we want to add more flowers in, I thought it'd be really cute to have the farming space. So I've just separated with the gate, as you can see, and popped in just a general like veggie patch. I'm also obsessed with this horse ranch gate that comes in because it's got like two little lamps posted on top, and I just thought it was so cute. And I thought it was a great way to kind of separate it and add more dimension to the farm, so it didn't look so flat. I want this beekeeper to also have a a companion, so I thought a dog would be really cute with all the space that you've got in the backyard. So I've made sure to throw in a little dog. Bed inside the living area as well, but you might need to do a little shuffling around so that the dog can actually sit on it. But to keep up with the yellow theme, I've added again the yellow door. I added in a van, and I've also added in the little chimes that you see at the front. And the barbecue was in yellow too. I was so happy with this, as well as the picnic bench. So 
It worked out really nicely considering I thought purple was going to be used a lot more, but I don't know, it's just, it's such a happy little spot. I would love to even just rent out this space just to sit in it and, and just be amongst nature and really vibe out. I think it's so cute. But that is pretty much the build. I hope you enjoy it. I had a lot of fun building it. It made me very happy and it's giving spring vibes for sure. So be sure to like, subscribe and leave a comment below to see what else you like next. Enjoy the screenshots that are coming up as well. And I will catch you all in the next one.